Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a pipe for linear buckling analysis. We will start with static structural. I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modeler geometry, units, millimeter, xy, look at. I'll go to sketching and I'm drawing a hollow pipe. So I'll go to circle. I'll give it dimensions. Say it is 30 mm. Extrude. I'll give the depth, that is the height of the pipe as say 200 mm, generate. I'll choose one face and I'll create a new plane over it, generate, look at. I'll go to sketching, I'll choose circle again, I'll give it some dimension. Say this is 27. Now I'll go to extrude again. The sketch is selected. In operation, I'm going to select cut material. The depth is 200. Generate. So this is my hollow pipe. I'll go to engineering data. And if I wish to select, I can change this material to say Instead of structural steel, let me say I am using stainless steel. I will go to project, update project. Now I will go to model and double click on it. I will go to geometry first and I will change the material from structural steel to stainless steel. I'll go to mesh, I'll change the sizing to fine and update. I'll go to static structural. On one end, I will insert pick support and on the other end, I will insert force, I will define by component, since it is along the z axis, I am going to insert a force of say minus 1000 Newton. I will go to solution, insert deformation total and I want to see the stress equivalent on this body, I will solve it. This is the static structural part of this solution. This is the total stress over this body. Now this is done. So I will go to eigen buckling. I will drag it over the solution. Next I will go to setup and double click on it. I will go to analysis setting and I will choose the maximum number of modes as 3. Also, I'll change include negative load multiplier from program control to no. I don't want to see any negative load multiplier. I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. This mode is 1. Next, I'll go for deformation total and the mode will be 2. And for the third one, deformation total, the mode number will be 3. Now I'll go to solution, right click, solve. We can see the first deformation over this body. It's swaying side to side. Let's see the second deformation. 
it swings side to side again in the perpendicular direction to the first motion that we have seen and let's see the third one we can see here this is the effect of the third mode over this body so this is how you are going to analyze a hollow pipe for eigenvalue buckling analysis i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubt please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you